Hi, I'm Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, it's the 1st of August and it's time for our birthstone make along and the colours you can use in August. Before we do August, I'll do a bit of a review on July like I normally do. So, July was ruby and it proved to be popular. Your colour choices were red or pink, and of course, the most popular colour was red. The spiritual meaning of ruby was happiness and a contented mind. I think I try all the time to um, have a contented mind and consider myself very fortunate and very lucky and a lot better off than most people, so happiness shouldn't be far away. For me, I did get asked in one of the comments, we've got some new people join us late in the year, and what was I making? So here it is. This is my V stitch lap gown. Yes, I did Ruby. I posted it on the Facebook group and Instagram. The way mine is working, I'm doing eight rows, eight rows of one color one month. And if there's a color option, I do two, four, and two. And so far, it's going okay. Now, by the end of the year, if it's not big enough for um, where I need to donate it to, like crochet for cancer, I'll put a border around it, which is what they suggest. Our lap gowns for crochet for cancer have to be 80 centimetres by 80 centimetres or 100 centimetres by 100 centimetres. They do like the 100 centimetre ones, but we won't know until I finish this. So that is the project I'm doing. we got more posted posted pictures this month or more pictures posted this month which was great I really like to see how the bigger projects are going and progressing yeah and it's nice welcome to the new people who have joined the make along it's great to have you on board so as I said the most popular color for July was red and I did go shopping locally and I tried to find something a little different which I happened to find now I think it was old stock but that doesn't matter I found Karen Simply Soft Party Yarn in Party Sparkling Red and I thought this was appropriate being July, Christmas in July and it definitely reminds me of rubies. It's a four weight yarn and it's an 85 gram ball. Now I did say the balls would be about 100 grams but some of the balls I've put in the price pack are 200 grams so I don't feel bad that this is only 85 grams because it is a beautiful yarn and would be perfect for our prize pack and the winner at the end of the year. So that's what's going in our prize pack. So we move into August. August at the stone is Pyridot or Pyridot, depending on where you're from. I have a friend whose ex-husband used to go fossicking for gems and he always said they are called Pyridots. But I have people who in Europe who call them Pyridos. Whatever you want to call them. So I'll give you a bit of information about them. The spiritual meaning of a Pyrido is, is strength and balance. It's sometimes called a crystallite. Its gem quality is oval, uh, olivine and it's green in colour depending on the iron contents within the structure of the gem. So the colours of a Pyridot are green, green, like a chartreuse green to olive with flecks of yellow or brown in the facets. I will put a picture at the end of this video of some Pyridots and raw Pyridots so you can see what I'm talking about. They are often sold in one solid colour so I do believe the olive green is the most popular and the most valuable. The most beautiful Pyridos are found on the border between Pakistan and Afghanistan. They are reasonably priced. It's usually about $50 to $80 US per carat. And that makes them affordable quality gems for the average person. The most expensive Pyrido was sold for $1,909.65 US. It was 13.17 carats. There you have it. So, your colour choices for August. Mm, of course, it's going to be chartreuse green, or that's as close as it could get to olive green. Not even sure what they call this one. 
I just call it fern green green. But anyway, chartreuse to olive green in those colour ranges. They're your first two colours you can pick from. And of course, because there is yellow and brown in the facets, we have yellow again and we're introducing brown. I don't think we've ever had brown. So there are your colour choices you can use. Remembering your green colour range should go from chartreuse to olive. Okay, now if you have a variegated yarn with those colours in it, please use it. I am not that fussy. As long as you're close to what we're talking about, you don't jump off and use blue or something. So guys, that is August. I'm looking forward to it. It is moving through the year nicely. It's great to have new people join us late and it's great to see what you post when you post your pictures. So please keep doing that and hashtag Birthstone Make Along AU. For me, today is Sunday and I've had what I call a finishing day. I had a bit of a clean up yesterday and I decided I was going to finish some whips today. Every so often I'll go, that's it. I'm not starting anything new till I finish some whips. And I've done one major whip and two smaller ones. I'll probably do another one tonight, late tonight. And, and that'll be awesome because I'll have reduced my pile of whips by four. Anyway, until next time, stay safe, take care. Remember, life's an adventure, so make sure you have a great adventure with your birthstone make-along colours for August. It should be fun. Bye for now.